fade in. Smacking Spaws presents The March to YouTube Domination! Dateline Hollywood! A plucky red-haired beauty hatches her plan to conquer the internet by gaining 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But she can't do it alone! Only you can help her in a quest to achieve YouTube greatness by liking, subscribing, and most importantly, sharing her videos! Remember, it's up to you to fight the evils of YouTube suppression and the evil corporations who want to keep you down by clicking the like button as we march our way to YouTube domination! Who let mom design Star Wars characters? And why did you let her have so much wine before she did it? Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harvey, coming off of a baking stream where, yes, we had a lot of fun making lemon-filled stuff. Check the notifications, we do all kinds of fun streams all over the place. And sometimes we talk about and make fun of things like whatever this crapping thing is with Star Wars The High Republic. Oh, it's, it's worse than you think it is. It's way worse than you think it is. You could die. What can only be a troll job, what can only be the least creative set of characters that I've ever seen. It just keeps getting more and more of a spectacle, doesn't it? Doesn't it for the hyper- You already saw, you already saw probably everybody's in-depth videos going over where these characters- who, who the hell cares about these characters, really, really? But where these characters came from, who designed them, we're gonna- we're gonna talk about that a little bit here. I just had to react to this, so you're gonna get some honest to goodness reactions here. I have the thing pulled up. Leox Gazy. <laughs> you're you're naming him Leox Gazy, and you are aiming this towards young people who are going to mock that name, right? I'm gonna make fun of him, right? Right? Or you didn't think that through? You know, you just didn't think that far ahead. So never snip in now, this woman shouldn't probably be anywhere near Star Wars. Cause nobody's needing that crack and cocaine. Or any geek sci-fi franchise for that matter. Why? Why? Who is it? Well, Daniel Jose Older is one of the people who wrote this, but we're talking mostly about Claudia Gray. <laughs> Never cry. Marijuana, don't try it at all. Giving us the, the live long and suck it Vulcan salute. Why we call it live long and suck it? Well, now they use that to blow up spaceships in Star Trek. So, you know, the live long and prosper doesn't really, it, 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 they don't really want you to prosper anymore, especially when you're being accosted by a group of logic extremists. Yes, that is how bad Star Trek Discovery was in season one. I am not exaggerating. And yes, it's that bad. Now, now, Claudia Gray, Claudia Gray. Live long and prosper. That's Star Trek, or as you probably know it, Star Trek. You know the one with the the one with Doctor Spock who takes care of the no no Mister Spock lady. It's Mister Spock on Star Trek. Trek. Can you say it? Can, no, she probably can't. She probably can't. But we've got the usual merry band of people like Justina Ireland who hates you know people with with and doesn't want you to read her books because her politics are so. All about using crack and cocaine to get high. I don't know. I don't even want to get into it. Let's talk about this. Centuries before the rise of the empire, prosperity, pioneering, and adventure. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You already ruined it with the Disney trilogy. Marked the era of the High Republic. The High Republic? Smoke weed every day. That's my kind of High Republic. Never try. Leox Jossie is the ex- Oh, it's Jossie. <laughs> How do you get Jossie out of Gacy? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I am dyslexic. I am dyslexic. Joxie. Joxie. Is that like Jocks are the Mighty? Centric <coughs> pilot of a vessel known simply as the Vessel. Co pilot. The Vessel. Which one? Which one? Piloted by Appy Hollow and navigated by Geo. <laughs> It's real? It's real? No. 
No. I thought it was fake because I did research. I did some research and I thought the geode, I thought the geode was fake because I did. I pulled up Leo, Leo Gacy and my fan art of geode that somebody, somebody drew here, which actually is really cool. If you want to check out his art, he's over on Twitter as well. I thought it was fake. I thought this was fake. That's why I'm like, oh, okay, it's fan art. It's exaggerated. It's really a rock. It's, it's really. It's really a rock. It's really, really, really rock. Because when you look on Wikipedia, when you go go into the Wookie, when you go to the Wikipedia here and you read it, and you read who created this, created by Claudia Gray for Star Wars The High Republic, was this character. What about Geode? Oh, now we got to look. I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe I'm not looking. I'm also looking at a very, very tiny one. Anywho, anywho. Ah. <sighs> Live long, and, live long and suck it there, decided to create this pilot and well, we'll finish the video before I tell you what I think. Who appears to be a rock. Leox. Who appears to be a rock. It's a fucking rock. It's a fucking rock and you know it. Also, hey, stereo, stereotype, co-pilot, is that a co-pilot? To know. be a rock. Leox is a charming rogue from the frontier. Oh, so he's Han Solo. So he's Han Solo. He's Diversity Han Solo. Leox and his loyal crew are hired, but disaster strikes as debris from a horrific accident littered. Oh no, and horrific accident. <sighs> and yada yada. <laughs> so it's also a chair. The, the navigator doubles as a chair. It's a freaking rock. It is a rock. It is I thought Rob was trolling me. I thought Rob was He said that they had a rock for now. I, I didn't realize it was real. I thought it was fan art. With the flow attitude. With his effortless piloting, Affy's efficient repairs, and Geode's quick response, the vessel safely exits How? hyperspace. It's a rock. It doesn't have arms. <laughs> How? How's it responding? Here's my impression of Geode. Responding, it's a freaking rock. Presumably, all right. Who cares about any of this? I don't think anybody actually cares about it. And it's how, how, do, how does it jump into action? It's a rock, it just sits there. It is literally a prop, it is furniture. How? How do you explain it? Does it have some sort of a, a, a telepathic ability to? communicate with the ship with with Leon Gazy here Leox Gazy Jock Jock Joxy I don't even know how to say it <sighs> you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you're doing Star Wars you are drunk you need to go home don't do an I I guess I have an article do we care about the article do we care High Republic is an absolute embarrassment. New character is just a rock. It's just a rock. I'm embarrassed to have to make a video on this. Now I'm going to have to redo the thumbnail and add the freaking rock because it's real. Star Wars. Star Wars. All right. You need to go away and go to your room and think about what you did and come back. When you come up with something a little bit more creative than what you saw outside your window when you're trying to create a character and you and you focused on the first thing you saw was a rock. What's the next thing? A tree? Oh, that was already taken because of Groot. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am Mecca Random 42 and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! and crack and cocaine to get high that's what you say you love